Hello, my name is Wade Nimmer, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. One thing unique about Rotary is that it brings together like-minded people, and uh, oftentimes they come together through a fellowship. And there was one brand new and unique fellowship that I wanted to share with you today. And with me today, I've had Brett Morey. Brett, welcome. Wade, always great to see yeah, you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I've been a Rotarian for 16 years, okay. and I've pretty much covered the gamut from uh, serving as our district youth chair for District 5340, San Diego and Imperial County. I've been past president and served in a multitude of different roles within Rotary. Great, great. So um, professional-wise, you are... Uh... Professional-wise, I've been in sales and engineering for okay. over 28 years okay. and uh, happen to work for a chemical engineering firm that reduces emissions and fuel consumption okay. all over the world. Very good. And this fellowship, tell us a little bit about that. Well, great. What is the name of it, first of all? Well, it's Surfers Unite Rotarian Fellowship. Okay. And uh, this is, we just completed our first year as an official right. uh, Rotary Fellowship. We were actually um, approved by Rotary International in December of last year. But it was May of last year, which uh, the idea was born, and off we went running. <laughs> great, great. And you had a booth, I believe, in Toronto just at the last convention. We did. It was great to see you there. And so <laughs> wonderful to sign up over 50 new members to our Rotary Fellowship great. in Toronto alone. And this is your brainchild, correct? It is, but what's neat is along the way, I've actually met some really incredible people. We now have over 520 members wow, in over great. 27 countries. Amazing, that is amazing. Now, are they all surfers? No, and that's the neat part. A lot of people understand that the goal of our Rotary Fellowship is to include uh, surfers, stand-up paddle boarders, as well as kite surfers, wind surfers, boogie boarders, etc. Okay, so it kind of covers everything then. It does. If there's a body of water around, you need to be on it, you need to be promoting Rotary as, as a way of doing it. <laughs> Very good. Now, you brought a little bit, of, a few props here. You want to share those with us? Oh, sure. I, I brought a couple of things we have on our website on surfersunite.org, uh, the ability to help uh, fund some of our, our, our activities are through the purchase of our gear. So we have dry fit uh, UV 50 shirts, which are fantastic for wearing to the gym, walking, jogging, uh, out on the boat, whatever nice. it may be. And it gives an opportunity for people to ask, what is this all about? Okay. And you can talk about your Rotary story. Very good. And the logo, where'd that come from? Well, the logo kind of actually, cool logo, uh, the thank you. The logo is actually inspired by a uh, surf company, okay. uh, a very well-known one. And I <laughs> kind of took the liberty of uh, asking a graphic artist who is a graduate now of Cal Poly San Luis Obispo okay. to, uh, to utilize that. Oh, got it, got it, okay. Give me the um, age range of, of your membership, if you know it. Of course, well the fantastic thing is that Interactors and Rotary Actors are free, and that is our focus uh, as far as, and it really truly makes this unique as a Rotary Fellowship, is that we really want to infuse youth into Rotary. And so having high school and college students who are interested uh, about environmental stewardship, cleaning up uh, shorelines, beaches, et cetera, as well as you know, doing some fun activities and integrating that with Rotarians and connecting all of them around the globe. That's really that's some of the things that we're doing. That is good. And to include the youth, I think that's very unique uh, throughout not only Rotary, but fellowships specifically. Not Correct. too many of those. Correct. I, I think it would be uh, inappropriate for some of our fellowships if it involves uh, alcohol. But, uh, <laughs> but certainly, you know, I'm true, sure true. that some of our other Rotary fellowships do focus on, on Rotarians and the average Rotarian. What's neat is that this allows families to be a yeah, part of this as well. Exactly. That is nice. That is very nice. Uh, you brought with you some pictures. I don't know if you want to start showing some of those things, if we sure. could find it. Um, let me jump in here real quick for you. Yeah. With it, the first one is this is the logo that you actually have. So if we could show the logo, I think that's pretty nice. Um, and again, you said that was done by a friend of yours from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Yeah, it was actually a friend of our son's. And uh, the second photograph, if that were to pull up here, uh, displays uh, the May 2017. I had uh, this idea, and I gathered uh, signatures uh, from other Rotarians around, as well as road actors and interactors in San Diego, got on a plane, landed in Atlanta, and my friend <laughs> Curtis Reinhardt in the Railroad uh, Rotary Fellowship allowed us to display, because we didn't have a, an you actual booth did there. did not have the booth right And yet. there's where I met the Gladwells and other wonderful people. Uh, Bob serves as one of our board members, if right, you will. Right, And uh, <laughs> both his wife and him and his son Michael all signed up as uh, lifetime members. But we gathered over 190 signatures from all over the world at that event. So tell us this, a uh, lifetime membership, how much is something like that? Yeah, so a lifetime membership, you get $48 worth of gear, uh, and it's $150. Okay. So that people can do And that's lifetime that. then. And that's it. Wow. Uh, Rotarians can actually sign up online for just $20 a year. So if they want to kind of test the waters, that's okay. another way of doing it. Good. And again, Rotor Actors and Directors are free. Mm -hmm. And then we also launched the Big Kahuna, which is a $500 <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
uh, nice. status, mm -hmm. and it gives you uh, more accolades in terms of website nice. presence and in venue. Yeah. Very good, very nice. And you have, uh, according to this one, you have four currently right now then? Yes, and it's growing by the day. What's neat is that since Toronto, we gained uh, both uh, Phil White uh, okay. from New South Wales. He's a past district governor uh -huh. uh, down in Australia. And then we also gained uh, a gentleman by the name of Bruce, oh, sorry, Butch. Uh, Butch. <laughs> Butch Francisco. Right. And Butch Francisco is in, uh, in the Philippines. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. And my friend uh, Chuck Preto, Club 33, and myself were right. also some of those. Definitely international then. That, that's good. We are, indeed. Good for you. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's jump back into the pictures. Your next one you have is a picture yeah, the of... The next photo I wanted to share with folks at home is also the aspect of some of the ways in which we're putting rotary and a face of rotary that's a unique within our communities. Uh, we have an annual tradition in San Diego called the Switchfoot bro -Am. In fact, mm -hmm. we just had the 14th annual one last week, or a couple weeks ago, rather. And that raised over $250,000 wow. for six different charities, including at-risk youth a, charities. Quite a crowd you've uh, drawn into that. Event. And over 15,000, and we oh were an event gosh. sponsor. So we've been there volunteering nice, as Rotarians. Nice. This, again, under the umbrella of Rotary through the Surfers mm -hmm. Unite Rotarian Fellowship, allowed us <laughs> to actually have a booth there and talk about uh, Rotary, Rotaract, and Interact. Well, we gathered over 100 new members that are potentially interested in Interact, Rotaract, uh, Rotary, or Surfers Unite Rotarian nice. Fellowship. So. Nice. And then the next picture you have? The next fit, picture that we have to talk about is actually an upcoming event as well. Uh, this is the uh, be our sixth annual event for the Rotary Music Camp. And okay. at this event, we'll bring in 24 to 25 international students. They're international symphony students, so they play in the San Diego Youth Symphony, International Youth Symphony event. They're uh, in San Diego for three weeks, okay. and we take them surfing before they go uh, on to <laughs> nice. their, their home countries. Oh, great. That is outstanding. <laughs> yep. Next picture. The next photo uh, actually happens to be uh, an event. It was our first kind of major kickoff event last year. Uh, we actually did a Rotaract uh, Learn to Surf event. And what's neat is, uh, okay. again, with the Rotarians that were involved, uh, some of our board members like Michael Slentz and others, uh, and Bob Gladwell were able to be at this event. So again, you had Lake Tahoe represented wow. and Encinitas and La Jolla, <laughs> as well as Rotaractors from throughout our cities. Uh, and these are our young professional Rotaractors that were at that event, and it was a blast. That is very nice. I see you have some pretty big boards, including some paddle boards out there. Right, which is fantastic is. for some other surfers to, uh, right. to get stable. Sometimes we start with a barge and move down from there. <laughs> good idea. That is good thinking. Good deal. <laughs> then the uh, next picture you have is? The, the next photo I have, Wade, to share with everybody is the, uh, an event that I think really oh. Rotary should be a, a present of. And this is the International Surfing Association Adaptive uh, Surf uh, hmm. event. This happens in La Jolla, which okay. is fantastic, but it also represents athletes from all over the world. Hmm. And when you have these countries, Brazil, Australia, New Zealand, et cetera, uh, waving their flags, England, and uh, this happens to be the picture of Danny Burt, who won the event hmm. for the USA, uh, but it's just so fantastic to see these, uh, these tremendous athletes and uh, surfing with prosthetic limbs, et cetera. Uh, it's just really inspiring. That would be a very inspiring. Nice. And here's one of my favorite photos I wanted to share. It's a photo of you and, you and me <laughs> from the uh, Rotary Rose Parade. And it's a pleasure to serve with you on that uh, Rotary Rose Parade uh, float well, committee. Well, thank you. You did a great job, by the way. <laughs> it looked good, and you were definitely enthusiastic. <laughs> well, thanks. I like to have a little bit of fun with the crowd. And walking five and a half miles down Colorado True. Boulevard was True. a blast in cowboy boots. Of course, you started that uh, with that enthusiasm about three days earlier. I mean, you never slowed down. <laughs> Pretty much. I actually started that uh, New Year's Eve uh, kickoff celebration with some Rotarians <laughs> in the Huntington Beach Club. There you go. Good for you. But that was a good one. It was a lot of fun. So the, the next picture should be online, which would show uh, the photo of the actual Rose the Parade float. float. And yeah. we won the Princess Award for the we second did. year. We did. Congratulations. Oh, likewise. Congratulations <laughs> to you well, for all your you. efforts. Thank you for that one. The next picture? The next picture? Next picture to show folks happens to be the one wave challenge we did for Boys to Men mentoring. Mm -hmm. We do a one wave challenge, which is actually trying to set a new world record. Uh, we want to have over 200 surfers all on the same wave at the same time. And we were really close, but we got to get it next year for sure. And we also do that. You said 200? Over 200 surfers <laughs> no, in, on serious? the same wave is oh what, my we're, gosh. what we're trying to accomplish. <laughs> That'll bury the wave. It is, a, it, is quite, it is quite fun to say the least. It's yeah, kind of a, a yard sale out there. And then, and then on top of it, we do what's called the 100 wave challenge. So I'm involved in that. And uh, last year, our team raised over $30,000 as a team. Nice, nice. And as a group, we raised over $349,000 for Boys to Men Foundation, which serves 
high school and, and also middle school children who that's are good. growing up without a father. So that's wow. fantastic. That, that is a great cause. Great yeah, cause. Great organization. Way. Yeah. Uh, the next photo after this happens to be, I believe, Oh, this would be another Learn to Surf event I did with Rotaract. In fact, it was really neat is that we combined ASU, uh, U of A, San Diego State, and UCSD, as well as other uh, Rotaract clubs in an event in Del Mar, which is really kind of fun to, to help with uh, uh, exchanging of ideas and different disciplines and, and bringing it. these students together from different campuses. Got it. So the, these are actually not... Surfers, they weren't surfers before. You brought them out there to not at all yes. unite them with the surfboard. Huh? Indeed, we did, nice, and it's nice. been a lot of fun. But again, as rotor actors, it's another way for them to connect with one another. Yeah. And, and uh, we were able to house them uh, with other Rotarians in our communities. Oh, good, good. So they came in from quite a, quite a ways, and some of from them from different places. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. Well, the next photo happens to be our Rise event. This is actually a fantastic youth-oriented activity. It's uh, now in its second year in San Diego. Okay. The Rotaract Club of San Diego State University actually puts this program on for high school kids. They have over 120 high school kids that sign up and enroll in this, hmm. and it gives them a lot of life skills, public speaking uh, points, as well as the ability to learn a little bit about some of the different disciplines that are okay. offered at San Diego State University. So with young high school students considering their uh, path and careers, uh, it gives them the opportunity to connect with others on campus. Nice, nice. So when you uh, talk about the outreach, um, the youth outreach that you have specific, um, this is part of your fellowship then too that's reaching out with that? Correct. I really want to take kind of the ideas that we've done both in San Diego and now do it globally, and that's what we're doing now. So it's neat to see this actually yeah. starting to manifest itself in countries like Australia and in other places like in Florida and in Hawaii, just to name a couple. Right, right, good, good. Now, I'm gonna tell the audience, or ask the audience, and I found it pretty fascinating. Your, your kids, how old are your kids? So we have a 22-year-old son and a 21-year-old daughter. Right, and you're talking about a grandchild, too? I know, I, this is not your father's <laughs> Rotary Club, near is it your, uh, your grandfather's uh, right, right. Uh, Rotary Fellowship. Well, I, I brought that up to encourage people to consider surfing, because if they stay young like you do, then uh, they're doing the right thing. <laughs> I think salt water heals a lot. It, it definitely does. It's good. <laughs> Takes care of that. Yeah, indeed. So, and, it, and again, my focus is on our future, and it's fantastic to see all that Rotary does in the world, which would not be possible without yeah. uh, tremendous uh, business professionals and those that are civic-minded, mm -hmm. um, but also to continue that legacy going forward, it, it, it takes the involvement of our youth. It, it definitely does. And to bring it together in a fellowship, as you know, I mean, it's, it's very unique because you're coming together for not a, just a light cause, but people have the same thinking. Right. It's amazing. And this next event is probably a great segue to that. In fact, mm -hmm. folks, I really want to encourage them to uh, read their Rotarian magazine. In fact, the December issue was going to actually f feature this picture or, or some nice. of the other photos nice. from this event. This was a, a, a high school event throughout San Diego. We did a bonfire. Not a bonfire, but a bond fire. <laughs> we bond. And so I had the <laughs> nice. college students from UCSD Rotaract as uh -huh. well as from SDSU Rotaract lead the games and uh, having some Rotarians there on site that were also part of Surfers Unite and have to share a little bit of their uh, ideas uh, about what their Rotary Club does, mm -hmm. but also make these connections. And right there, we were able to connect some of these high school students nice. who are about to graduate with other college students uh, at both of those campuses, mm -hmm. talk about some of their degrees that they're working on, and then also connect some of the Rotaractors with other Rotarians who are retired but had True. been uh, in that field. So it was neat to do these handoffs with, nice. with some of these uh, uh, folks at that event. Good, and that, you, you talk about Rotaract, you talk about Interact, and you talk about Rotarians, so I mean, it's multi-generational. And that's what's fantastic that about is. what we're doing because it uh, really does involve it, and it also links us with Rotarians not only within our district, but other Rotary members we would never know, uh, but True. also around the world. And that connectiveness and that uh, aspect of hosting each other and hosting events is a huge part of what we're doing. Now, did you ever imagine that the fellowship would bring together people internationally like that? Was that part of your vision or something that just happened? Well, it is kind of interesting because Rotary International has some guidelines for setting up a new right. uh, Rotary fellowship, and they want to have, you know, under your executive leadership team to represent five different countries. Right. And so what's neat is that some of our involvement involves uh, Rotaractors that are, let's say, in Canada and in Australia and other Rotarians that are, uh, happen to be in Mexico and other countries. And so we have that presence. In fact, our treasure, which you'll have a photo up here uh, coming up, is actually from Kenya. So oh, we have right? full wow. representation globally. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> so neat. Jumping to the next picture? Yeah. Well, let's see. 
You said the next one was? I uh, said so the next one was uh, going to need your help. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Fantastic. The next photo actually happens to be an event that our club does called the Quintessential Festival. So nothing like uh, throwing 2,000 people together in a beer garden. Uh, we have uh, 30 craft brewers, wineries, and distilleries. It's a really fun community and fun event. Uh, this happens to be a couple of Rotarians in my club, uh, Jim and Pam Davies, who are dear, dear friends. Yeah, yeah. Like me, Jim's a past president of the La Jolla Golden Triangle Rotary Club, <laughs> and uh, they're a lot of fun. So to put a face of Rotary there, it was really neat to connect with other Rotarians nice. who were at that event who signed up to be <laughs> on board with us. Perfect. Next picture you have is? The next photo was actually the Susan G. Coleman uh, breast cancer uh, oh. uh, stand-up for the Cure event. We did in Newport Good. Bay. And that was fantastic because we were able to involve other Rotarians from other clubs, as well as Rotaractors and Interactors. So this is a great uh, photo sh uh, representation of that. But you know, yes. you're talking hundreds of stand-up paddleboarders, and that's something that wow. uh, was really unique when we talked to people in uh, Toronto at the Rotary International Convention is to find out how many people are interested mm. in stand-up paddleboarding, and they were happy to join Surfers United as a result. <laughs> Very nice. Next picture. The is... next picture happens to be uh, this is the. Uh, uh, Hope Leadership Academy uh, called the uh, the event is called uh, um, City to Surf. Okay, and we take over a hundred inner city kids surfing. Uh, in this photo, which I really love, is actually the incoming president. Uh, so he's president elect of the Del Mar Rotary Club, which is Brett Mate. Okay. And Brett is not only a former uh, 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 lifeguard, lieutenant lifeguard for the city of oh, wow. uh, Del Mar. <laughs> okay but he's also served in the State Department and lived all over the world. Wow. So wealth of knowledge and wow. a fantastic guy and a good friend. Great. And the next photo after that just shows the absolute stoke of a young lady who's getting to her feet uh, to stand up on the board for the very first, first time. time. It's, it's, it's really a <laughs> that joy. That is a nice picture, by the way. Thanks. Great picture. And the photo after that just kind of shows one of our three group shots. So we actually had, okay. you know, three other uh, group shots like this that kind of represent uh, the ages and stages and, and involving other high school students to help with these uh, middle school kids is a lot of fun as well. Good. The photo after this, if I could bring that up, mm -hmm. actually involves from the Rotary International Conference, uh, both uh, two of our, our leadership team members. Uh, we've got Jessica Peake from, uh, from Kenya, our treasurer, mm -hmm. as well as Terry Miller, who is from Florida. And she's one of our membership co-chairs, along with a, a new uh, gentleman to add to our repertoire of Hawaiians, <laughs> which we need out on. There you go. <laughs> Next photograph after that actually has a, a great group shot of several new members, but also uh, Miss Emma Jane Bell, who's from Australia. She serves as our publicity and media oh, chair. Okay. Fantastic rotor actor, uh, recent graduate uh, as well. And then also uh, Marge Cole, a dear, dear friend, right. past district governor, of course, for Rotary 5340 right, in San right. Diego. A very active one. Indeed. Great. Uh, next photo after this, if I could, is to bring up uh, another great new uh, Sur Surfers Unite Rotarian Fellowship member. In fact, uh, it was neat to meet James. He's a member of the Rotary Club of Toronto. And while we were there, he invited us. He's a stand-up paddleboard guide, actually, uh, on, the, on the lake there. Uh, we weren't able to break away from our booth duties and also from Rotary National Conference <laughs> That is one of the problems. That. Yeah. However, we did get on his boat and oh, got nice. to take a little cruise over for the Rotary Fest. So that made it a lot of fun. Perfect. So it's nice to have uh, more Canadians on board. And the next shot after this happens to be from the Switchfoot Broam from this year. Hmm. The reason I love this shot so much is it, again, uh, typifies us putting the face of Rotary that's truly unique and different. We yeah. signed up over 100 uh, potential members wow. for Rotary, wow. uh, Rotaract, Interact, and uh, Surfers United. Looking at a lot of young faces there, something yeah. very rare in Rotary pictures, unfortunately. <laughs> and You're it, doing something right. And it's a lot of fun. And <laughs> at this event, they do, and if I show the next photo, you'll see actually some of the fun because they have a surf contest, <laughs> surf jousting, which I think uh, is a blast. That would be a blast. And then, of course, uh, five hours of live music. If you look at the next photograph, this happens to be the Grammy Award winning band Switchfoot, who happen to be some friends of ours. So, nice. really wonderful people nice. with great nice. hearts for the community <laughs> great and uh, just to uh, conclude with a couple more we've got uh, a photograph to follow here on our upcoming sixth annual rotary music camp okay. that'll be held uh, in at uh, fletcher cove in solana beach and after that just to kind of finish off will be things like the life rolls on and what's neat is that we're pretty able to tag on to other existing events but put the face of Rotary there. Uh, when we do these events, we're able to involve Rotarians, Rotaractors, and Interactors, yeah. family members and yeah. friends, potential members, and it's a good way to grow their clubs as well as our clubs. 
Uh, this stand up, uh, or sorry, this event with adaptive surfers involves over 120 hmm. children and adults with disabilities. And you can see in this last photograph here next, uh, just wow. you're talking over 600 volunteers <laughs> uh, in the water on shore and making that event happen. They have over 12 stops around the nation. So a good organization to be involved in. Very impressive picture you got there too. There's a lot of people involved. Well, it's a lot of fun. So tell me this, uh, when you started it, what was your vision? And you know, did it include the youth? Did it include pretty much everything that you ended up with right now with this group? Well, Wade, that's a great question. The answer is yes. Good. Uh, my whole focus was a way in which we could uh, inspire youth and make Rotary fun and also relevant to the next generation of leaders. Sure. Yeah, it is true. Uh, recreationally, there's very few I would say fellowships that kind of focus in on something like that, uh, an event, a sport that's for everybody, for all generations. Well, what's fantastic is whether it's a shoreline cleanup, a beach cleanup, a, a bonfire event, a stand-up paddleboard event, or just a learn to surf event, you can really do it at all ages and stages. Mm -hmm. And you need people both on the beach or on the shoreline as you weigh in the water. Right. And so it's fantastic to use that. And then also to tag on to other events that are going on, so even to help out other nonprofits in terms of volunteering, right. and 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 again give that dialogue, you know, a reason to be a Rotarian or a rotor actor, et cetera. Very true. Now you probably have um, little chapter events around the uh, around the world. Right. How many would you guess you have each year? Well, what's I know you guys have a lot. You we started have... everything in San Diego, and that's been yeah. kind of the epicenter, as you will. Right, right. Um, we have an upcoming event in Florida that will involve stand-up paddleboarding, okay. but we've also done three all, all events already in Hawaii, and we have something very special planned for the uh, Hawaii Honolulu Rotary International Conference in 2020. 2020. Sounds yes. good. <laughs> it's going to be in... Very good. Do you want to know? Sure. You're going to let the audience all right. know. Well, here it comes, folks. You're going to hear it first from, from us here. We're actually going to do a, a End Polio Now campaign with a paddle out event, and that's going to involve hundreds of Rotarians, wow. Rotaractors, and Interactors, uh, those on the beach as well. We'll do a lot of uh, you know, stand up paddle boards as well as just paddle outs and outriggers and other things like that. So it's wow. going to be a neat way to put uh, that spin going into the conference and raising both awareness and also funds wow. for this much needed cause. That's awesome. So uh, it's bringing the paddle out event then to that specific cause. Yes, and, and those, I gotta those give, are impressive, by the way. They're very emotional, very moving. It'll be fantastic, and I want to give credit to Sean Slentz, who is an, an assistant governor of District 5000. Okay. Uh, he's also a board member of our <laughs> Surfers Unite Rotarian Fellowship. Okay, 5000, by the way, that's uh, District of Hawaii. Correct. <laughs> okay, for the audience that didn't know that. That's, that's true. Very good. good. So um, what would you say your largest core of members are at? I know it probably started in San Diego, so it's pretty big, but other pockets around the world. We're definitely growing in Australia, and I'm excited about you know, the presence of certain members, gentlemen like past district governor Phil White, uh, and him have, you know, his energy for leading the cause down there, because we're going to about blow the doors down on the Gold Coast <laughs> over there, Good. and New South Wales, Melbourne, et cetera. Good. And are they having the same success bringing in younger people by integrating the, the generations? 100% that will be the goal. Uh, right now they want to get you know, the number of Rotary members that will help uh, the financial aspect of moving it forward. But, yeah. find, yeah. but of course, uh, in terms of funding the activities, that would be the, the way to go about it. True. And successes that you've seen as far as fundraising for different causes, uh, bringing this group together, um, how successful do you say that is? Because it is multi-generational. Is it a right. challenge to get everybody, or do you have the Rotarians, the established Rotarians that financially are, are able to help out? Well, what's neat is people can help in any way that they can. Yeah. And there are folks that are just simply, you know, at a district tra uh, training event, will buy some gear. Uh, there's other folks that are more than willing to underwrite us for some of our specific sure. events. Yeah. Uh, what comes to my mind would be Adam and, and Marty Rosenberg of the Encinitas Coastal Club. Right. They see the vision of what we're doing and wanted to be a part of it helped us actually raise some money for the uh, event, for the you know, $1,500 booth space at the Switchfoot Bro-Am. Oh, okay. And our own Rotary Club has obviously been a huge part of that. Uh, we're known as the most dynamic Rotary Club in the world for a reason, so <laughs> there's the La Jolla Golden Triangle Rotary Club making that happen. That's but good. it also is on the members as well. Yeah, I, I could see that definitely being the case. So how do you envision passing on the, the Rotary passion to that next generation working this way. What's neat is uh, when you do things like the Life Rolls On event, for example, I've got some tremendous occupational therapists and, and uh, 
physical therapists in that. And you meet uh, college students or high school students who are studying kinesiology or other medical professions, and you're able to link them up. And this is another way where you can put, you know, in that rotary family that, that carry that torch forward. Yeah. And as they go on into their professional lives, that they can, you know, remember what Rotary has done for them, yeah. but also say, well, how can I help support Rotary? One thing uh, unique about your fellowship, it kind of, I would say, slides away from tradition as far as a surfer, is that rather than it being individual now, you've brought it together as a family group. And that's you know, interesting, just, right? So uh, yeah, for me, because usually it's always been individual. <laughs> well, and that's what's interesting if you think about the heritage of surfing. Yeah. We're very fortunate to have uh, people on our leadership team. In fact, I mentioned Sean Slentz. He actually brought in our vice president, mm. Ian Masterson. Ian is a surf professor of, of, <laughs> of Oahu. And uh, he wasn't even a Rotarian when I made him a vice president. <laughs> so we actually acquired him into <laughs> Rotary, into the uh, Rotary Club of Honolulu <laughs> as a result. But the point here is that um, we were able to you know, put that whole family aspect. To yeah. me, as a surfer for 34 plus years, is I've always looked at, you know, it's about the people and the place, not about me on the wave. So you know, sharing that, uh, that uh, aloha spirit is a very big part of what we do and encouraging others uh, no matter who they are. And real quick, we have uh, just about a minute left. Uh, touch on this one. We, we, Rotary is kind of leaning now towards environmental uh, awareness. Mm -hmm. And your group does quite a few beach cleanups, from what I understand. Right. And it's so important to do the river cleanups and the lake cleanups as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When, really, when you think about it, um, we have to be good stewards of the God-given resources that we have. <laughs> and that's how I look at my life and uh, how we look at uh, our, our ability as Rotarians and as uh, those who uh, you know, have the means to do so. That, so. Is, that is true. Well, it's been great uh, talking to you, visiting Thanks, with you, uh, and good luck with this, uh, the fellowship. I think it's uh, there to grow for quite a while. One thing I think is very unique about it is the fact that you're able to bridge that gap of generations with uh, a cause that Rotary supports. Well, thank you, Wade, for the time. I appreciate you sharing this with all the hundreds of thousands of viewers out there. <laughs> thank you. And with that, everybody, thank you very much for joining us. Take a look at the uh, Surfer Fellowship because uh, it's out there. It's going to be there for a long time. With that, thank you very much. We'll see you next time.